Hi guys, welcome to week four of distance learning. This is our second week of new learning. Thank you for all the wonderful posts last week from the clocks to the roller coasters. They were awesome. So I appreciate all of your hard work and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. So this week for math, our topic is equivalent fractions. So we started fractions before we left. We're going to continue our work with fractions and talk about equivalent fractions. So that's the theme of our math board. The directions for the board are on the top. Make sure you follow the directions. First, you need to watch the teacher video. It's Mr. Zook again, and I even think he has some brownies in his video. You definitely want to check that out. After you watch the teacher video, there's some other videos for you to watch on equivalent fractions. After that, there are some games to play to practice your equivalent fraction. Then Prodigy is set to some equivalent fraction works to give you even more practice. After you do all of that, then you can pick one of the three activities listed on the bottom row. You might even want to look for me. I made a video to go along with one of those activities, so you might want to check that out. After you pick your activity, you have to either take a picture, do an audio recording, write it in Seesaw, just like you have been doing. You guys are all experts at sending us your posts now, so great job. After that, there's a bonus box on the bottom. Practice your facts. That's super duper important. So practice, keep practicing those facts. It's going to pay off in fourth grade. All right. So your other board, we're switching to social studies this week. So our topic is culture. And we're going to talk about how culture um, affects us in America, how other cultures are brought into America. So there are some stories or articles for you to read first. Then you watch some videos. After that, there are two activities for you to choose from. You pick one of those activities to do and submit through Seesaw. Again, you choose. You can write it on pencil and paper, take a picture of it. You can do an audio recording. You can do a video recording. You decide. Send us your posts. Make sure you read and follow all of the directions. They're very clear on the board. So <clears throat> that's math and that's social studies for this week. So at the bottom of the board are our office hours. If you need me, if you need any of the other teachers, click on there, set up a time, and we can meet through a Google Hangout. Also, Class meetings, PM class with Mrs. Lynch. It'll be on Thursday and I will join her. My AM class, my homeroom, it will be Friday at two o'clock again. I will send the link and I will even send you hmm, what to bring this time for our class meeting. I have, I've been researching some ideas, so be ready. Um, other than that, have a great week. I can't wait to see the posts. So I am going to leave you with this little cartoon that I found. So let me bring it up on my screen here. So this cartoon says, wait a minute, why did PJ get four sandwiches and I only got two? So after you do all the equivalent fractions work, you should be able to answer this easy breezy. All right. Have a great week, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.